Hello, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. This is a little bit heavy, but I'm having my own little candlelight vigil for Sean Lonsdale, who was a man who went to Clearwater, Florida and was literally filming the Scientology Sea Org and what they were doing. And apparently it was posted today that he was found dead a couple of days ago. And I'm actually going to speak to you about a lot of people I know who died in Scientology. It's an amazing thing. A lot of people die in Scientology. I know seven young people who have taken their own lives. They all were about 20, 21 young people. One of the, the first one I knew hung himself. And I mean, it was horrible. It was like, how could this be? I mean, it was really one of the, few, the first huge dents in my own Scientology Truman Show. It was like, how could a religion, how could children be taking their lives, right? And then um, another dear friend of mine who helped, he was a brilliant kid, Philip Gale. He jumped out the window a 15-story window of MIT, which is a university here in the United States, on L. Ron Hubbard's birthday. It was really a tragedy. Then another one of my very dear friends shot himself to death, and I was there when he died. I mean, it was it's horrible, right? And lots of my really good friends have died in Scientology. Okay, I'm really sorry, but... People should not go into a religion and get trapped into this stuff. You know, they can say it's a religion, but the people that are the top auditors, I've talked to them and said, you know, what's the deal? Why are all these people dying, right? And honestly, it's too much to go into right now. And I'm sorry I'm crying. <sighs> I'm really sorry. Okay. Um... It's probably one of the deepest things for me because these were like dear friends of mine. <laughs> My brother <laughs> called me once and he said, Tori, you know, we're less than a year apart in age, right? <laughs> and I know one person who's dead and you know tons of your really dear friends are dead. And he was trying to help me wake up and see, you know, something was wrong with this picture, right? But Scientologists are so blocked off. It's very hard to talk to them. It's very hard to get their attention and get them to hear you, right? And I'm sorry I'm crying, but these were dear, dear friends of mine. My very best friend died. Two of them. Three of them four of them. <laughs> I can just start thinking about it. And the other thing that's really crummy is Scientology just sweeps them under the rug, right? One of my friends used to come up to me and he'd say, you're not going to believe it. And I'd say, what? And he'd say, oh. and that these are all the other people that are dead now. And he would just list off these people, so-and-so, and so-and-so, and so-and-so. And I'd be like, you're kidding. Because you don't hear about it. It's not like a real religion where they'd have a ceremony for it or something. It, Scientology only has a ceremony if you're an opinion leader, right? If a lot of people know you. Because then it's such a PR flap, they have to have a big ceremony for you, right? So anyway, Sean, I am really sorry about this. <laughs> it sounds so stupid to say that. I'm really sorry you're dead. <sighs> and I don't believe he took his life either. I don't. Because he was really a strong critic. Now, for you guys in Anonymous, I don't want you thinking, oh, they're going to come kill you. They're not. You know what I mean? They're not. This guy was like, <sighs> I can't explain it. He was way in their face. I told him. The last thing I told him was over a year ago. I said, get out of there, Sean. They're going to come after you. They have to because of certain things that were going on. But, you know, if you just stand up for free speech, if you stand up against their abuses, you're okay. He was, like, talking about OT8 and things like that, which to them are just, you know, unbelievable. They just can't allow that to be. First of all, because it's a lot of money for them, number one, even though you don't know that when you're in. But that's really one of the driving forces of keeping it secret, right? Because it's a lot of money. 
And if you found out how bogus it was, you wouldn't spend the money on it. I mean, here's one of the really, really creepy things for anybody lurking that happens to see this. The very beginning of Scientology is a thing called life repair, where you realize my life isn't going to get any worse, I'm going to get better. And now you spend years, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You get to the top, and their top OT8 level is something like, I realize that I'm not going to be any better, I can get, a, you know, it's the same thing as life repair, it's just a little bit twisted around, it's very insidious. Anyway, you can type it in in Google and look it up, but that's not my point here. My point here is blessings to every single friend, every single family of all these people. And thank you, Anonymous. Okay. That's it. Anyway, thank you. Come to the picket. Sean would want you to be at the picket. He would want everybody at the picket. And even all the other people. <laughs> Bring a lot of people. I'm sorry.